Considering the increase of health problems related to inactivity and non-communicable diseases, like heart diseases and obesity, many researches carry out the correlation between the built environment and physical activity. Those issues associate health and urban planning studies. Walking occurs in daily actions and can be considered as a viable alternative to health problems reduction and to promote physical activity. To analyze and measure walkability, it is possible to apply the Walkability Index, which systematizes four built environment variables net residential density, retail floor area ratio, intersection density, and land use mix. This article aims to describe the construction of the Walkability Index for Cambé City, located in Paraná State, South Brazil. The fact of being an inner city differs this study from others in which cities from developed countries or larger cities with an extensive urban planning history were considered. The calculation of the index was studied with the association of all variables in the formula to calculate the final walkability index for each census ward. The walkability index map revealed the census wards for 39, 52, 66, 67 and 71 are more walkable in Cambé City. These census wards are situated in distinct areas relatively far from each other, forming three clusters with high walkability. This evidence can be related to the land use mix, in which shows that the highest walkable blocks are located near to commercial and service concentration areas. Due to that, people are not too close to walk less than 5 minutes to reach the final destination but also close enough to walk instead of using other means of transportation. Besides, these blocks present a higher number of net residential density in comparison to those with high commercial concentration, which suggests a bigger number of residents able to provide pedestrian activity. Not coincidentally, the same census wards were excelled with higher intersection density, suggesting a positive relation between connectivity and physical activity. Findings of this study can combine with political guidelines to insert walkability in the urban planning process, even though there is still a disparity between academic research, application and practice procedures. Thank you for your attention.